Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Pleasantly Positive Show. Uh, this is episode six today, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> here at the Pleasantly Positive Show, we just take a look back on our week, try to highlight some positive moments that we had, as well as we go over some uh, good news articles in a segment that I like to call Positive Press. I am your host, Savvy, and with me today, I have the notorious Aerodactyl, or Matt, Matt, how are you today? <laughs> Hello. I'm good. Very good. Happy to be here. Good, good. I'm, I'm very happy to have you here. I was uh, talking to, I know you know Dallas. I was talking to Dallas last episode about having you on. I'm excited to have yeah. have the full new Friend Plus gang on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah, how's so it's, it's going good. And for anybody who doesn't know, Matt and two episodes ago... Our guest, uh, Pete, they have a YouTube channel and Twitch channel called New Friend Plus. Uh, definitely go check it out. A lot of good stuff happens over there. Uh, totally forgot to plug it when uh, Pete was on. And so I definitely okay. wanted to make sure I did that this episode. Uh, this is your thing. They have a, Sorry about us. Nah, yeah, y'all, but y'all have a lot of fun over there. And so I definitely, I definitely wanted to make sure I shouted that out. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I like to ask this with everybody do you have like a morning beverage of choice for when you wake up is there anything that you're sipping on right now no definitely not right now i'm, I'm just kind of whatever whatever's available some days it's a soda some days it's a coffee some days it's juice if it's available you, know? you don't you don't got that caffeine nick you don't have to worry about it uh not exactly no i'm, I'm i think i have uh I intake enough sodas on a daily basis that caffeine doesn't affect me. Okay. I can drink a uh, Coke at 2 a.m. and fall asleep in 10 minutes. Wow. You're, you're, one, you're one of the lucky ones, then. I. You say that. I'm addicted to soda. I, okay, yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I definitely, like, I struggle with, um, I think I, I've talked about it before, where, like, coffee doesn't make me feel more awake, but I still have to have it or I get the headache. <laughs> so... Yeah, and I don't I don't feel like dealing with the headache, so I always I just usually have a cup of coffee, and then I try to make my second cup like a decaf cup, because it also messes with my my tummy. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's probably true. I probably would get the headache if I didn't have some sort of coffee or soda, soda or like noon. Yeah, but it, so so it has to be like a Coke or like a something like can't be like a Sprite that doesn't have any caffeine, right? Hmm. You'd have to try that just to test yourself. No, I think I have. Yeah, I think I think it doesn't really matter actually. So oh, okay. That, maybe it hmm. isn't the caffeine. It's my yeah. addiction. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, I think we have a good episode for everybody here today. Um, Matt, would you would you like to kind of start us off with some of your your weekly moments that kind of left you a uh, you know positive impact on you throughout your week? Do you do you have anything that you'd like to like to share? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I got some stuff in the chamber yeah uh i'd say i'd say like the biggest one which was very very recent and this is you're talking personal right now right uh it could be personal or it could be it could be anything as long as like you know it made you feel good <laughs> you thought it was positive okay. yeah i don't know I, if it, you meant like news kinds of stuff or my life no yeah, yeah you yeah you okay i just want to make sure i'm doing this right uh yeah no, you're yeah not. i'd say the biggest one was probably yesterday had the boys coming over, had uh, Dob and Pete and my brother all coming over and helped uh, knock out swing set for my daughter. Birthday's nice. Monday and got it knocked out just in time. Got the whole, whole treehouse swing set combo uh, built and ready. Treehouse? It's like mediocre treehouse. A little fake rock wall and then oh, that's still slide awesome. Down. But yeah, yeah. Bars. Yeah, they came over a couple weeks and got it started, and then I was just lazy for the last two weeks and had them come over again to help me knock it out so i'm sure your daughter was bugging you about it getting it built <laughs> oh she didn't even know what it was yet because we didn't have the swings up the slide wasn't up oh, she just saw okay. a structure and she's like what's that what's that <laughs> a I mean, she was bugging me but she didn't know <laughs> yeah what it was so yeah she was uh thrilled she was sitting at the gate as we were putting the final touches on yesterday like ready for it to open for her so oh okay that's awesome well but congratulations yeah, was, uh, on on the, the building good. of that <clears throat> yeah just in time yeah, growing up, uh, I had a little my at the very first house, at least the first house I remember, 
uh, I had a little play set that I remember just, you know, climbing all over. I, I, I had this, I had like a, the space, like a replica of the space shuttle with, and I used to use it as a, as a Star Wars blaster. <laughs> I don't know why, oh, but I used to structure of your playground was a space shuttle no 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 i had like a toy space shuttle and <laughs> it was like a little replica of it and i used to use it as like a star wars blaster and i'd be like inside my little swing set like oh get down yeah. pew pew that kind of stuff <laughs> blast them yep and then even my my second house i had a swing set and but i was too i was like 12 i would like climb on it when i got depressed and just sit, yeah. sit on top of the roof <laughs> put in your ipod and uh, just listen to some my depressing iPod music while shuffle <laughs> yeah <laughs> i remember those days the depressing yeah, ways you make yourself happy as a teenager mm -hmm. just go like <laughs> I, I would just like try to do the most obscure thing like i'd go climb a tree and just sit there or you yeah. know this swing sets that were just like it'd have like the two metal or three metal bars connecting to like the top and you could kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. you can kind of like i would like climb up that way and then sit at the top of the swing set and like try to be a sad boy but i'm like trying to make sure i'm not like gonna fall off trying to like balance myself <laughs> yeah i always thought it was funny uh we're like kind of in the same realm there with uh i think it was like a uh, 10th grade maybe or something like that we'd just gotten our licenses and i think uh i, I just remember talking to pete uh, multiple times and like oh yeah what'd you do yesterday you work after school I was like, no i went to the park uh, a couple miles down from my house and just did the swings just sit okay. the swings. <laughs> Sixteen year old just goes to the local uh, playground, just swinging with his iPod in for an Those hour were, after school. Times were so much simpler back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I, I miss getting out, getting home from school, and I'm like, I'm just gonna walk to the park today, or like, I'm gonna have the, oh, yeah. the bus drop me off at the park today instead. <laughs> and I pull home from work, and I gotta, I can't just do anything. It's baby, baby, dinner. It's all planned out, you know. Yeah, and then get two seconds when you get home. And maybe maybe at ten PM you could hop on for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere around yeah. Yeah. Nine o'clock, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Every day's depends. different. Mm hmm It's dynamic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's different uh, but the same. Yeah. Did you did you have anything else uh that kinda went on? Anything of note? If I'd not say, totally totally cool, but I'd say uh I was pretty excited to hear about uh Dallas from last uh, from last week. So hopefully that's not not my news to share. But no, I think I think he I think he talked about it on last uh, okay, episode good. last week that he was going to sign the the thing. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. So, so that was, that'll, uh, that'll be fun. Very nice news. Yeah, hearing that mm -hmm. he's going to be joining the team at work. So yeah. but I still haven't actually met him as many times as I've played with him. So it'll be exciting. Oh, you have you haven't okay. meet him in person and get to hang out with him more. Yeah, so, yeah, that'll be for getting on. You, you have almost all the boys in one place. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we're we're building the the Discord server up at yeah. work. <laughs> the, dis <laughs> the work Discord. Yeah, you, you, you'll have to you'll have you'll have a coworker be like, man, do y'all have like, <clears throat> like a group chat or something? And <laughs> he's like, oh, you already got everybody here. <laughs> well, apparently that is the case. Apparently, um, Zach's boss, uh, Zach. It's always weird when I say that. I'm always calling him Da, but. Two yeah. percent of the time, I let it slip and say Zach. But uh, apparently, his boss, um, who I don't really work with directly, apparently she streams with her husband, and uh, she, they do all kinds of stuff. So yeah, who knows? Oh. Maybe we'll have somebody else join in. Yeah, maybe one day. Um, Same kinds of games. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! <clears throat> well, um, oh yeah. To, so I, Pete, uh, during you know his episode, he talked about because y'all work at the same place, right? No, not Pete. Oh, you don't work with Pete? Hmm. What? Never worked with Pete. What? I, I don't know. Multiple times in high school. I don't school know why I thought y'all worked, worked at the same place. No, I mean he lives. Um, he lives like a five-minute drive from my uh, office, so like you know we're we're near each other. But no, he does not. Oh well, darn! That changed my whole that changed my whole perspective. <laughs> so it's just it was just you and Dob originally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. I guess I, I guess I just I I, I guess I just assumed. <laughs> I tried to recruit but, Pete, but he didn't ever want to go. Yeah. All right. Good for us. Well, <laughs> does he say it's good for you? <laughs> no, I said he's too good for us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, that probably is good for my uh, work ethic. The less of sure. a, 
less friends I have there, it's probably better. Yeah, I I would say that's true. If like whenever like I have like a like a f before friend, because like I usually become friends with like any of my coworkers, like work friends. But like if I have somebody that was my friend before the job and they come, it's usually gets a little disruptive. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can't focus. Like me and Dob get caught in each other's offices sometimes for like over an hour at a Oof. time. Just Hope chatting about football and stuff. I <laughs> Hope y'all don't get in trouble for it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Fingers crossed. Doesn't happen. I think we've learned. I'm trying to uh, separate it now. Mm -hmm. We'll Couple make it 20 two minute sessions. Two 30 minute <laughs> intervals. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Was that uh? Is that kind of like it for your for a bit of your weekly look back kind of thing? Or yeah, I guess so. I mean, just ultimately, just a very solid week. You know? Easy, easy going. No, not a lot of stress this week. So yeah, just in general, pretty, pretty happy week. But nothing really standing out as like huge. Yeah, good, good solid week. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I, I can't. I do have a long weekend though. I'm looking forward to tomorrow being off too. So I'm gonna <sighs> throw that in there. That makes nice. me happy. Nice. For my daughter's birthday. So. Okay. Well, happy, happy birthday to to her. Happy early birthday. How old is she turning? Tell you, tell her you said that. Uh, three. Three? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure she'll appreciate me saying that. <laughs> she'll be, who? Who that? <laughs> who that? <laughs> uh, I couldn't help but notice behind your head. Do you play guitar? Probably a stupid I question. I uh, got it. No, it's not a stupid question. I got uh, it when <clears throat> uh, said daughter was born, thinking, oh, I'll learn like a couple like just super generic crap. And I don't know if I was just wishful thinking and not realizing that I would never have time to learn an instrument once I had a child. Uh, mm, so that that's never fair. happened. So yeah. now it'll probably eventually just get covered with stickers or something. Um, hmm. But no, I don't. Yeah. Okay. I was, so, I was just curious. Uh, good I was, question. I was, I was hoping we might, <laughs> yeah, I was hoping we might get a little serenade at the end of the <laughs> episode. Ooh, or something. Only. only. There's actually this really awesome, and you can get it for desktop or your phone app called Musician, And this, not you know not sponsored <laughs> but uh it's 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 really cool because it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like rock band but in like like a teaching way and it can like and it, it, it yeah. lists, it, like you cut on your mic so it listens to like your chords mm -hmm. and it starts out like like it you could it has a lot of songs in there and it has like from like novice to expert mm -hmm. and <clears throat> so it, it can hear when you're hitting the right chords and like everything's color coded and like it helps you like learn like finger placement and everything yeah. for like, for like the fretboard and whatnot. And it's actually, there's like a free version and a paid version. And it's, it's, you know, if you ever like have a spare 20 minutes, you can kind of just throw that on and learn some basic chords to a, a basic song, you know? Be nice. Yeah. I think I considered, um, I'm trying to think of who it was, maybe like Ubisoft or someone made a game that was, Kind of what you're saying it was a but it was for like an actual system and you could plug up like an electric guitar oh. and it would like read and teach you how to play real guitar to like rock band kind of scenarios okay um, yeah and I, I considered looking into that but i heard it was but it's kind of in the similar vein mm -hmm. yeah i i remember when i when i first tried to pick up guitar i was like i have no idea what i'm doing and i'm not gonna pay for lessons right now <laughs> so i downloaded that and i was just <laughs> playing around and then every like a youtube video here and there just try to you know learn a learn a song or two but my brother tried to teach me years ago because he taught himself back in high school never forgive him for that how many <laughs> nights he would keep me up trying to learn guitar in the room right next to me but uh he tried teaching me ages ago 10 15 years ago my fingers didn't really uh, work back then. Mm -hmm. I don't know. was it's it just was it electric guitar no Oh, okay. Oh. I thought maybe he was like, wow, right to the, in the room next to you kind no, of thing. No, it was just, yeah, <laughs> an, an acoustic through a very thin wall. When he's yeah, it's, it's still gets 12 loud. feet away. It's, uh, mm -hmm. And it was a made, like, wall, so it was actually just a closet door. I see, I see. It was see. two closet doors, keeping us... Uh, oh, so you away, got you so. got to hear everything. <laughs> yes. Everything. Heck yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well... Apologies for calling you out on your guitar skills or the lack thereof. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm glad to hear that you had a pretty solid week and a long weekend. Yeah. So, yeah. So if if you don't mind, I'll uh, I'll step into some of my some of my moments. Zero. Yeah. So uh, 
I was about to say last week, uh, yesterday, uh, and it was the reason I wasn't able to to kind of join you guys playing some Fallout last night, was I went to this little volleyball tournament, and I had never really, like, watched a game of, I don't think I've ever really sat down and watched, like, a true game of volleyball, and it was nice, like, I, like I've seen, like, gym, like, a gym class kind of thing, but I've never watched, like, people that, like, play on a team kind of play, and it was... It was inter- it was entertaining. There was like there was like twelve courts going on. I mean, this was like a big tournament. It was like a bunch of clubs from across the state got together, and <clears throat> it was just it was just cool to see, cool to see that. I never really, yeah, I've watched like Olympic volleyball, like maybe a couple times on TV, but being in person, I don't know. It was just cool. I like competitive sports, team sports like that. Yeah. I can get into almost any sport. <clears throat> I like uh yeah I like it whenever volleyball like college volleyball's on, mm-hmm. uh, TV. I enjoy watching that. Yeah, I, and, it's and women's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, of course, of course. Uh, it's it's a it's a good uh it's a fun sport to watch. Yeah, and it was funny because uh, you know the team that uh, I was I was with a family and their uh their kid was playing, and this ref, we were getting really pissed at this ref i mean this ref i i don't know what her problem was and i'm not gonna pretend like i know all the rules of volleyball but like a point would like a point would happen and i thought we'd got the point and like even the team was celebrating and then i'd look up and i'd see the ref was like like they she'd stick her arm out and that meant like the point went to the other team and i'm just like i'm sitting there clapping and all of a sudden i'm like wait i'm clapping for the wrong what happened and all the all the parents were getting just pissed at this ref because she I don't know what kind of it's like a like a double touch call for like when you like when you set the ball up you have to like when you use both hands I think both hands have to touch the ball at the same time and if they don't it's like a double touch okay and she was just calling those constantly so like you couldn't get like a you couldn't get in the flow of the game like there was no back and forth because anytime somebody set she'd be like oh double touch and so it's kind of hard to it was kind of hard to like watch just like a nice back and forth game because yeah. she was just calling calling something every five seconds is this high school uh i think some of them are in high school some are out of high school and oh, okay whatnot I'm just curious you, you mentioned like all the parents getting upset and that, that definitely brings me back to high school sports but all the parents knew better than all the refs and coaches yeah, I mean they, th- well even the coaches were getting mad at the at the ref. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the coaches were like going up and like yelling at her, and uh, you know they had they had like I think like like thirteen between like like thirteen and up like a bunch of different mixed teams and whatnot. So okay, yeah, but but that was that was fun. Uh, that was kind of like a unexpected thing that I went to. I got the invite and I was like, sure, why not? Yeah, uh, and. My second thing on the list, and it kind of piggybacks off of this, is I saw an old high school friend. She is apparently the the coach of the club that, uh, yeah, you know, the people that I was with. Um, she's the she's the head coach for the club, and so I got the I kind of ran into her, and I don't think she recognized me at first till I said my name. But I I look a lot different than I did in high school, and yeah, yeah it's it was just it was like a really brief catch up, but it was just cool to see an old high school friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you? Uh, I know. That I know you've been in uh, conversations with random people. What was that? So anytime I see people out in public from high school that I haven't seen in forever, it's never that that smooth. It's like just say hi and it's nice, you know. Yeah. Say yeah. hey and go. It's always just trying not to make eye contact. <laughs> yeah, it's That's what big... it feels like on my end, at least. No, no, no. I I definitely felt you. I was kind of like I was like looking at her and then looking away. I was like. Does she recognize me? <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> no, do you, I, I know you've, uh, without doxing where you live, I know you've lived in like the same area, you know, most of your life. Do you ever, do you run into like a lot of high school buddies? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, a bit of them. I, weirdly enough, the people that like I actually did hang out with who still live in the area, like I'd never see. <laughs> it's usually I know people it, like, you there's like two or three to. that I hung out with daily and uh, I don't know if I've seen them in, since my wedding, uh, oh, even yeah. though they both live in the city, too. Uh, but, yeah, I see plenty of people from school. In fact, uh, there's two couples who have, like, both the uh, husband and wife were both in my grade and both couples. Uh-huh. And they both have uh, kids that are three, two to three in the same class at the same preschool. So I see them yeah. all the time. Oh, okay. 
so yeah there's plenty of people we still run into yeah i i, I kind of appreciate that about small towns i mean even yeah. even between florida and you know where i used to live um you know anytime i go out either place always seeing people from school or seeing parents from school seeing coaches or teachers yeah. and it's it's always kind of like a nice kind of look back into like the past kind of thing like you think about those memories yeah. for a brief moment and whatnot and so yeah well, especially if you had parents i see parents all the time just saw parents from my old neighborhood last night at Lowe's. so yeah. really yeah because the parents aren't going anywhere they're all in the same houses pretty much oh it's yeah just the kids that you don't know about <laughs> yeah they're locked in they're locked in but the kids pretty much. the kids are always i it's always interesting like i'll follow somebody on instagram and i'm like they're in arkansas now okay like that's that's yeah. quite the move i didn't see that for you <laughs> you never really know yeah <sighs> okay what else did i have on here uh oh yeah uh i can't remember what day it was but i i ran our our local bridge i went there and had a run it was like 12 o'clock in the afternoon and i got to see some dolphins and yeah i, try, I tried to catch them on video but i never know when or where they're gonna bop back out of the water right but every time i see i see dolphins every time that i go to that bridge and i just something about dolphins i just always think in my head hell yeah like <laughs> i don't know what it is just anytime i see it it's it, like a manatee as well and i think anytime i see like a big ocean creature it's just hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just the coolest thing i have to stop and admire it but yeah i mean kind of i get that because i guess they're kind of even if it's not necessarily rare it's like you can't just go somewhere and decide i want to see a manatee today and just get it yeah 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 i, I would consider them exotic kind of you know yeah. definitely never seen a manatee you've never seen a manatee not like in the wild oh you'll have to uh you have to come down to but florida I, one day i haven't gone to many beaches i've been to florida once when i was three don't yeah. remember you're not gonna catch them the lizard yeah you won't usually catch them at the beach that's the thing you usually need to go to yeah. like usually need to go to like a cove or like a like a like a dock kind of area mm -hmm. or like a little port and usually they'll kind of come up like so like where i live at titusville it's the ocean but it's considered a river because we have a cape between us and the ocean so even though it's a like it's miles long and it's seawater it's going between two bodies of land so i guess they call that a river it's called the indian river and it's usually there that we'll catch manatees, but then if I were to go to the Cape and go to the beach over there, I would not see any manatees over there <clears throat> kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know okay. why they like to s stay where they do. I don't know why, but I've just found that you usually catch them like under bridges, you know, by boat docks, but I never, I never catch them out in the middle of the water. I guess I'm never like on a boat to see them, but. Seems like a very lazy sea creature, so they probably aren't wherever you're seeing them yeah it, it's cute because uh at the at the park near the bridge they'll like come right up on the shore and there's like bushes overhanging the water and they'll they'll sit there and they'll chew the bushes so every once in a while you yeah. know you'll you'll be walking the trail and you're just greeted by a manatee just nom nomming like a cow but in the water just on a bush it's really sea cute cow. yeah sea cow yeah yeah <laughs> that would be cool yeah i like uh I like seeing animals i like going to in fact we were just talking about maybe going to the zoo tomorrow oh yeah uh, for her birthday so I, I really enjoy seeing animals i like seeing them in the wild <laughs> especially so that would be cool to see anything more than just little fish at like the beach or something yeah it's always it's always a little treat seeing something yeah that's not a bird squirrel or little minnow <laughs> kind of yeah. yeah i saw dolphins once at a beach like out in the distance mm -hmm. they've been once in my life i've seen them so. and, the, and the lifeguard probably blew the whistle just to make sure it wasn't a shark <laughs> Be kind of surprising but maybe <laughs> i i feel like when i go to the beach sometimes like the lifeguard will blow the whistle thinking it's a shark and then he'll be like oh no it's a dolphin you're good <laughs> well to be fair when i saw these they were actually like hopping out of the water like i see yeah yeah fairly high so i don't think they would have confused that for sure but i don't know maybe sharks can hop out of the water not to my knowledge but... i i bet like i bet if they're like coming up under like a school of fish maybe yeah. kind of like, like kind of like a whale does maybe they'll quickly just like you see them like kind of dive out really quick or something i don't yeah. know uh, apparently like uh 30 miles north we have new smyrna beach it's apparently the shark bite capital of the world i don't know how true that is or how that stands up today 
but I've always heard that. And they and Where? they, a uh, new Smyrna Beach. And they and like all like their bumper stickers and they like T-shirts. It's just it, like they all say New Smyrna, Shark by Capital of the World, and I, I don't survived. know if people. Can... <laughs> I survived. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if. I don't think it's like great whites. I do think they have like a lot of like smaller sharks that'll just, you know, yeah, <laughs> nom on you kind of thing. Yeah, <clears throat> they're real concerned going to the beach. Yeah, are you are you uh, are you a beach guy? Yeah, yeah. We, my my mom was. I don't think my mom spent a year without going to the beach like twice. So mm -hmm. always been to the beach. Now I still go to the same beach. So I've got a plan to go there this summer. So. Heck yeah. Or do you like yes. in the water? I don't actually care for the beach. I just like the vacation, but uh, my wife likes the beach, so you know, it's that's fair. Yeah, I don't know how much she'll like it with two kids uh, this year, but, mm. but yeah, I, I, I enjoy. It'll be a treat. I, I bet it'll be a treat. Even even for you, yeah. I, I, I'm not a parent, so I can't speak to it. But so I, I like the the joy of being a parent is, at least for my unexperienced perspective is watching your kids experience stuff for the oh, first yeah. time yeah some of it's going to be great and some of it's going to be infuriating oh uh, pain yeah i i imagine because <laughs> we did it already with our oldest when she was one and a half mm -hmm. and it was like very fun but yeah then it got to a point where i don't know you couldn't relax for two seconds you know mm. vacation is the least uh relaxing thing you can think of so i'd like to spend a lot more time at the pool that's uh, fair. Them, uh, uh, but, yeah, we definitely got to get them in the ocean and on the sand for sure. Yeah, yeah. And build. You have to build that sand castle, and it has to get knocked over by that wave, and they'll start crying. You know, it's 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 tradition. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. We'll probably get knocked over by the one year old, and the three year old cries that the one year old broke the sand castle. Yeah. <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. Fighting. Same reaction. Yeah, yeah. Same devastation. <laughs> uh, alrighty. And then, uh, and then just my last one is I've really enjoyed playing the Outlast Trials, uh, recently. Um, it's just like a it's like a nice change to the games that I typically play, and I like a good I like a good scary game. And even though I feel like I know it's coming, it still keeps getting me at certain moments, and I I let out a good scream, and it's exciting. So, yeah. <clears throat> find a find a new game that you can enjoy that much. Mm hmm. D, are you a scary game guy? Um, not particularly, but like I enjoy doing the co-op scary games. Okay, so you wouldn't be opposed if I if I tried to get you on Outlast Trials if I maybe bought you I a copy. I would get it if you it wasn't goes on sale for sure. Okay. Like I think it's interesting enough. I didn't think I could do the money without really having played it before. Yeah, no, I never played Outlast because I probably yeah. wouldn't play the Outlast games. Mm -hmm. No, that's I don't care for horror. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not too big on like horror, at least solo. I do like the good like co-op like Friday the Thirteenth kind of mm -hmm. thing. I really loved. I loved that game. I'm so sad that it just. I'm I think so like, bad was, that game. I I don't think I was good at it, but I still had so much fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. really fun finding like random people who would uh, just be the the camp people with you and getting the proximity chat. That was yeah, probably yeah. the best part of that. Yeah, like you'd just be walking around and say, hey, dude, <laughs> over here. <laughs> or walking you'd be, into the bathroom and have some guy screaming, I'm pooping, I'm pooping. I'm pooping. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> Don't bring him here. <laughs> um, I actually hated being, uh, is, is it Jason? Is that? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I hate. I hated being Jason. I didn't, like, usually people want to be the killer. I hated being the killer. I found it so frustrating. Well, yeah, if people know what they're doing as the, the campers, there was no way to win. Uh-huh. Jason, so. Yeah, you were cooked, and like I, I'd be like ten minutes in, and two of them have already left the map with the car, and I was like, Ugh. well, geez, and now now I'm just gonna have somebody circle around like a tree, and then yep. stun me, and then leave. <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah, I never understood how all the campers had like so much, uh, so much power. Yeah. Until I was like, I was a camper, and I couldn't do any of that. And then mm -hmm. as soon as I'm Jason, they just the best players in the world i don't understand yeah i it, it was it i remember when i played i felt very powerless as a as one of the campers but then every once in a while like i, I team up with like dallas and like if we can we can get jason pretty good sometimes yeah and it's i think that's what kind of made it fun was like the oh my god i got him okay go 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 <laughs> it's just like the the terror of running knowing he's behind you <laughs> definitely a shame they 
we ended the servers, but yeah. What are you gonna do? Hopefully, a new game will kind of mimic that a little closer. Yeah, yeah. I know there's like the whole Dead by Daylight thing, and yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's never, it's never tickled my fancy. Uh, I haven't played it, but I've seen Pete play it plenty. Yeah, I was Pete like it. Pete like it. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. It's like that's his like his go to when he wants to play something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. Um <clears throat> well yeah, that that kinda that kinda concludes my my look back. Uh if you're ready, I was thinking we can hop over to our news articles. Uh sure. Yeah, if you would you like to would you like to start us off just to make sure we're able to get yours in? I worry that sometimes like if I if I start first, we might not even make it to some of the other ones. So All right. Um Yeah, so the, the main one I found that I thought was the best, and I, I imagine you probably saw it too, because mm-hmm. um, I also brought this up to my wife and said, hey, keep an eye out for any you know, positive stories this week. And, of course, this is the one that she came back with, mm-hmm. which is that there was an article uh, talking about the <laughs> global life uh, expectancy rising. I did 6. see 6.2 it. I did years see after. It. What was it? Uh, from, like, the 90s or something like that, I think. Since the 90s, it's mm-hmm. uh, raised 6.2 years. Uh, after a drop in stroke, uh, diarrhea, and respiratory, so kind of crazy how you know how far medicine and everything has come. Yeah, in the last thirty years. Yeah, when I when I saw that, it did it kind of made me pause. I was like, oh, that's that's kind of nice to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause... Very. Uh, I mean, we see all the changes, you know, but I feel like at least my brain thinks of like changes in like technology and stuff. I guess I didn't really see like yes, it's still affecting medicine and. It mm-hmm. is actually making an impact. It's not yep. just per like individual people. It's overall. So, yeah, cool. and I was I was surprised to see like the reasons too. Like, I was thinking like, oh, you know, like cancer treatment, and mm-hmm. you know, like 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 big like these like really big illness treatments. But I was, but it was just like no, it's just like respiratory infection, diarrhea, really and stuff, and yeah. stroke. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like the dehydration that you would probably experience from just like diarrhea alone and stuff like that is you know not good <laughs> sure yeah and i wonder like what countries because i'm sure like i'm sure it's not evenly distributed like which countries are like helping raise that you know what i mean um and i, I don't i didn't like dive too deep into the article i just read the headline says you the super region of southeast asia east asia and oceania saw the second largest net gain uh, nice that says 8.3. <clears throat> Who is it? Oh, Eastern uh, Sub Saharan Africa raised the most at 10.7. Nice. I wonder that if that's, range. I wonder if that's like, uh, did you, does it, like, is it like just like also like increased access to healthcare that like places maybe not, maybe wouldn't have had as easy access to healthcare before as well? Because it doesn't specify. You know, it doesn't really go into a whole lot for like, at least like the individual areas that they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But even then, that's still it's still it's still good news. Good job for the world. Yeah, <laughs> and for those yeah, areas so just specifically. Lower, uh, lower rates of those respiratory infections and stuff doesn't actually specify why mm-hmm. they're lower. So. Well, heck yeah! No, that's always it's yeah. always good. It's always good to see, especially like. <clears throat> oh no! Sometimes it. I guess it's because I don't work in the health field and I don't have like too many crazy health problems. So I guess I don't really think about, you know, strides we're making in the healthcare. It feels right, like, it, it feels like more. it's, it feels like it's been the same since I was born <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> right. And I'd imagine if you really only go for like colds and stuff, when you get like, you know, the flu and you need some antibiotics, yeah, it probably doesn't feel like anything's changed. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it's just, it's nice to hear that <clears throat> stuff is, you know, stuff's happening, stuff's changing and we are, you know, making people's lives better and the world better, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to add to that? Well, um, trying to find some good ones, and I was trying to find <clears throat> more um, more stories that were like you know affecting the world more so than like you know individuals, because mm-hmm. um, a lot of the things I was seeing, like for instance, uh, the one about the 104 year old skydiver. Uh, oh. and how that's inspiring us, but that's, you know, I feel like that's more the, your 
feel goods because it's like, oh, this one person is doing something. We should do more too. Yeah. Uh, but I wasn't finding as many good like, global, global. Kind of ones. Yeah. But I did like this other one that was still kind of a, a feel good one where it's talking about this guy who's um, apparently, I think he had a small store. Like a, he's in a very small town, it's like 500 people or something like that. And he had, ran a small store and like ordered what he thought was like 80 chocolate eggs for Easter and ended up being 80 cases and ended up with like hundreds and hundreds of chocolate eggs and ended up turning it into some like charity uh, fundraiser thing for like the kids and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Heck yeah. I, did Make you a mistake uh, and give back. Yeah, I, I don't think I had any Easter chocolate. Did you, did you did you partake in any Easter chocolate? Are you a chocolate person? Uh, yes. I'm sweet. Person. Sweets are my vice next to sodas. So. Yep. <laughs> I I like a good sweet. I, I I try not to buy any for myself, but if it's put in front of me, if it's put in front of me, if it's offered to me, I will not hesitate. <laughs> yes. I used to be that way until I tried to cut back, and then whenever I saw it out, I was like, "No one needs to know." Yeah. <laughs> I just it, usually the way that works for me is like, oh, I go into my mom's office a lot at her workplace, and at the receptionist desk they always have like a bunch of sweets and candy. That's usually my daily dose of indulging myself in some, and some sweets. Or she'll, you know, come back from the grocery store. And she's like, I got this box of Twinkies. Don't eat them all. And I'm like, oh, how dare you? I will leave you at least one. <laughs> yeah, little Debbies are dangerous or hostess whatever they are yeah get a oh box God. of those it's hard to just have one and walk away i know it's i don't know i don't know what they're putting in those besides sugar but it's got to be something else i don't i don't know because <laughs> like the the it's the swiss rolls the oatmeal cookies mm. the twinkies the uh, everything the 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 christmas tree brownies are like just the brownies with like yeah. the little the little that it's just like another chocolate chip on top of it like the colored ones any <clears throat> seasonal themed little debbie is better than the oh. original uh, <laughs> snack cake yep even if it's like cakes i i don't care about but then you give me a christmas tree cake yes <laughs> that is the it is the exact night. same just different just a new skin on it <laughs> yes <laughs> and it tastes That's how it is it tastes a thousand times better <laughs> doesn't make sense but it, i feel the same way with like oreos would like i don't i don't like oreos very much uh -huh. like, i don't hate oreos i just i would never pay for them but then bring out uh spring oreos with yellow icing oh yeah something, something about them's better or like the like they have like the red ones or like the red and green that do for christmas too yep yep something they about should that be better but they are uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah but i think my my one is either like those christmas tree little zebra cakes or like the again like the brownies like the christmas tree brownies exact same mm -hmm. as the normal one but <laughs> something about that that it's the holiday theme <clears throat> christmas specifically too it seems like they're better than Easter ones. Mm hmm It makes me but. like I do the same thing for your like macaroni and cheese. I'm telling you, like craft, when you get like the Star Wars macaroni, it tastes <laughs> so much better than the normal. Or the SpongeBob I would actually macaroni. Argue the opposite, but what? it doesn't stop me from getting <clears throat> Star Wars macaroni. No, like Sponge okay, SpongeBob is the best one. But Star Wars is Star Wars is pretty good too. Uh the Peppa Pig ones aren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there were Peppas now. Yeah, yeah they, got, they got they got they got so yeah you'll have to get the you'll have to invest in the peppa pigs <laughs> yeah no nah, they're just not as cheesy i guess they i think the way they're made they just don't hold the cheese on them like a noodle does so i just that's i feel like they taste more bland that's fair but i do i, do I can find understand why you might feel that way <laughs> i do no they're you fun. do i you do have to leave it a little more soupy when you get like the the, the themed ones i do realize that. eat it with a spoon instead of a fork yeah, 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 Changes yeah. It definitely, it definitely doesn't stick to the cheese, to the noodle as well. That I yeah. do get. I feel you there, but I don't know. The cheese just tastes better. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to try it with a spoon and see if I feel different. Yeah, uh, you do. You just routinely eat mac Those and cheese peppers. with a fork. <clears throat> I mean, it's ultimately a pasta. I feel like I eat all pastas. I, I the only cheese, the only time I eat mac and cheese with a fork would be like baked, baked mac and cheese. Mm. That's the only time. I've never really cons like thought about it. I mean, yeah, I guess like something like Kraft would easily be. Or Velveeta, you know. like a Velveeta shell. I, I feel like it takes you a long time to eat your mac and cheese then <laughs> if you're using a fork. I mean, I still scoop <laughs> it like I would a spoon, but I also have the ability to Stab. pick an ind individual pieces up if I need to. Yeah. 
Huh. You got to make sure you get that Darth really Vader helmet. <laughs> Always interesting when you find out people's habits and eating that like seem so insignificant, but it, I don't know when you hear that somebody does it different. You're like, oh, I, I refuse to keep ketchup in a fridge, and apparently that upsets a lot of people. Even after you've opened it. Yeah. Hmm. How many restaurants do you go to and get cold ketchup sitting on the table? I don't like mixing temperatures with my food. That's why I don't do it. I don't like a cold ketchup no. on a hot hamburger. No, you're you're right. But I'm most people do refrigerate, and I understand why. Well, I, I think I think it says to on the label, which is why it might. Yeah, but I guess yeah, we've just always kind of copied the way your local like you know. No, that makes restaurant would do. That makes sense, and I do. I like like I don't like a hot fry with cold ketchup. Like I do. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. You may have just changed my perspective on that. <laughs> I might, anything uh, else pretty much goes in the fridge though like any you know barbecue sauce any mustard oh whatever, but the barbecue got. sauce goes in the fridge <laughs> those barbecues i don't eat barbecue sauce does that not go in the fridge well no i i, I still put that in the fridge but like i i, I see that on the oh, same but you're vein saying it's like... i don't eat barbecue sauce so that's fair oh yeah. okay okay i don't i don't like any sauces on anything ketchup though like it has to go on a hamburger Ugh. you can't eat a hamburger without ketchup I, I'm a, everybody hates the way I have a hamburger. Uh, if I did a burger, it's just meat and cheese. Nothing else. I want nothing else. Cheese and ketchup. No, 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 no ketchup. No, no. <laughs> don't ruin it. Ketchup, I don't, don't do ruin a lot it. Of ketchup. No, I, if a McDonald's, like I don't really eat McDonald's and I don't eat burgers that much, but if I get a McDonald's burger and, you know, it's ordered, like I'll, I'll strip the pickles off and everything, but if there's a ketchup and mustard already on it or ketchup on it, I can't eat it. Ketchup ruins it for me. But you put ketchup on fries. Yes, but I'm also just weaning off ketchup. Like I, I don't <clears throat> eat ketchup on fries. I just eat fries plain. I I think probably fried fish, and for and fries are probably the only thing that I do put ketchup on. But even then, I, I I've kind of weaned away from putting ketchup on fries now for the most part. It's it's the sodium for me. It's like it's just too much. Like I'm already eating really salty fries, and then the the amount of sodium and the ketchup too. I'm like maybe I should you know, I could do without. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Not a hamburger for me. I got it. Like American cheese has one purpose, and that's the cheeseburger. Same with ketchup. It pretty much yeah. has one purpose. So. Yeah. You know what I found is really good for grilled cheeses now is, and I've never, I can't believe I've never tried it before. It's pepper jack cheese. Mm. A good, a good I'm slice sorry. of pepper jack on a on a grilled cheese, is, it's it's top tier. Usually mix like Swiss with American because we just have American in the house. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I I like a good I like a good cheese combo on my grilled cheese. This has quickly turned into a foodie podcast. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> we are good. we're not only are we Americans, but we are humans as well. So we like we like our food. <laughs> <laughs> we like it in very specific ways. Yep. I was, uh, one last comment on that is uh, <clears throat> for breakfast, I actually had a chicken breast <laughs> and I put barbecue sauce on it. I think it I think it had a a Thai sauce. I think. Because my mom made it while I was gone, and I think she put a Thai sauce on it and like made it put, while I was in the oven, so it was like baked into it. And I, but I was like, this isn't this isn't wet enough; it's too dry. So I put some barbecue sauce on it too, spicy barbecue. <laughs> you can't do that, but yeah, eat your own. I like putting a good kick on my meats. I don't know. I, I like I like my meats with like a kick. I don't really do oh, steak you did and say pork. Spicy but... that might be better. I don't like the sweet barbecue sauce. That's what turns me off to barbecue sauce. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't like doing the the doing the sweet. I like doing like specifically the spicy. Um, and like I don't really, I don't really indulge in beef and pork too much. But even like with like my turkey and my my chicken, I like like a good, like a good hot sauce or a good just mildly spicy barbecue or something like that or a spicy like yeah. top like a spicy you know like one of those Asian sauces like General Sao's usually has like a kick to it a little bit sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think that's enough of the <laughs> the food now. <laughs> um, I don't even know how we got on that topic. <clears throat> Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Wow, we've ver- we diverged hard off of Easter eggs. <laughs> ketchup. From Easter eggs to ketchup. Yep. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, are you are you good with your your news articles? Yeah. Is that it? Was that yeah, it for you? you? Got some good ones. Yeah. Let me, let me see where we're at in time. Fifty one minutes. All right. And I don't even think we've been talking for that long. So, um, I'm trying to decide. I have two here. I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to do first. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do this one. Um, <clears throat> so, I actually I watched the video, but then as I was 
as I was going through these news articles, uh, I, I see that this it's called uh, the good 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 dot co. Uh, they also made an article about it, so I was interested to see that. Uh, do you know John Green, the author John Green? He has like uh, the Fault in Our Stars, Turtles All the Way Down, Looking for Alaska. No, I'm trying to pretend like I'm familiar, but no. But go yeah. ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, okay. Do you know the YouTube channel Crash Course? No. <laughs> That's okay too. My it, my science teachers would throw it on if they ever had a video about certain topics. Um, okay. <clears throat> but anyway, John John Green, you know he I th I, I could be wrong here, but I I think he and his brothers started the Crash Course channel. It's a, it's just like an education channel, and they have a usually heavy focus on science. And I just I grew up watching that as a kid. Um, I'm not even like as a kid. It's like a like a young teen. I kind of grew up watching that. Um, and anyway, he like he left the channel, John Green. He left the channel a long time ago, but he recently came back and made a 50 minute lecture uh, about tuberculosis, and it made me realize I didn't know anything about tuberculosis. And I just I thought it was interesting timing because my mom, working in the healthcare ind industry, she just recently apparently if you were if you're like a nurse and like above, you have to get tested for TB every two years, I think something like that. Mm -hmm. Or, or every year and when she told me when she's like oh you know uh, i'm going to get a tb test i was like won't you know if you have tuberculosis because you'll be coughing <laughs> and, and you, <laughs> you'll be struggling and she's like well no not necessarily and uh, but she didn't like go into it and then this lecture came out about tuberculosis and it was just, it was just interesting learning about the history of tuber tuberculosis and what it is and yeah it was just it was just it was just interesting timing to like have that yeah. video come out as I was just learning that tuberculosis isn't just like, like a all of a sudden you wake up sick one day and <laughs> right, you know, like it's something that could sit just dormant. A heavy flu or anything. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like I thought it was kind of just like a like a your normal kind of viral infection kind of thing, but no, yeah. it it could sit dormant in your body for years, decades, even. Yeah, and yeah. I did. I think that's I was, how I felt about it. Back in high school, so that's kind of how I thought it was. And then we did watch like a documentary on it. I think it was Liam Neeson was narrating it. Really? Uh, There's somebody cool if it wasn't Liam Neeson, but yeah. So that that did teach me a little bit about it, and I have to get tested for it with my uh, RA oh, regularly. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I also know a little bit, but yeah, that's still interesting. Hmm. No, yeah, I. Good timing. It, it's just, yeah, it's just it's just cool learning about you know educating yourself about stuff that because I and I in school. You know, in science, we talked about, especially biology, we talked about diseases and uh, and whatnot, and uh, tuberculosis. Just like we we talked about, like certain time periods where tuberculosis kind of spread throughout. You know, like like uh, like the industri like the industrial area and what uh, area era, and but I never learned about the disease itself. It was more yeah. of like a point in history kind of thing. So that that's just that's just one thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, I feel about polio. I know about it. I know there was a point in history where it was, you know, super common, but I don't know a whole lot about it. Yeah, like I know there's the, I know the iron lung. I know one of our presidents had it. I can't remember which one. Mm -hmm. Was it Roosevelt? Right? Yeah, it was uh, FDR. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um Yeah, no, it's just it's cool. Um So I have I have that one and then this comes from the Good News Network doc, dot I'm having a hard time talking. I think the caffeine's hitting me too hard right now or something. I don't know. Uh, the good news network dot org. Uh, and the headline reads wheels for winners gives hundreds of free bikes to Wisconsin youth in exchange for community service. And the, the breakdown of this article is basically you have this organization that <clears throat> all they require you to do is do 10 hours of community service with like a, any or any local organization or whatever. And they'll give you a free bike and you can just, you walk in, you show them that you've you've done your community service, and there you go, you get a bike. And <clears throat> what this organization does is, uh, you know, they usually get donated bikes, and they'll either, you know, restore them, and you know they're part of like their community service project, or you know they'll have like they'll just like do giveaways for people that need bikes, or they'll dismantle them for parts, or what's the other one here? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they'll get they'll get restored and reused or dismantled for parts and donated to, you know, places that might need those parts and whatnot. 
and it was just i just thought it was like a really nice uh there's madison wisconsin is like a very bicycle friendly state or city apparently in america and there's a lot of people that don't have access to bikes and so this is this kind of offers a way for them to you know be able to kind of easily access uh a free bike while being able to do some good for the community as well and i thought it was just a nice a nice story <clears throat> scenario i did see that one too while scrolling through and i thought that was a that was a good uh community more so than like an individual good thing happening i thought that was cool yeah yeah um i personally wish i had a bike i would i would go <laughs> if, if we had something like that here i would go do some community service to yeah. to get a bike i actually <laughs> funny story i used to have a bike and i got home from work one day and my mom was like oh i gave your bike away i was like <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> She's like, yeah, so kid wanted, the, wanted your bike, so I gave it to him. I was like, you didn't ask me? Like, I, you know, I paid for that bike. And I was like, did you, like, you know, did he pay you for it? She's like, no, I just gave it to him. She's like, you don't really ride it that much anymore. I'm like, but if I wanted to, I, this is like years ago. I don't, looking yeah. back, I don't care. But <laughs> at the time, I was like, why would you get rid of my bike? That was my bike. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I've I, been in those scenarios before. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 see, I see. I see some of the hot rods you have in the background over there. <laughs> the hot, oh yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. the Christmas gifts. Yes, uh, still struggling to teach the three-year-old how to pedal correctly. Mm -hmm. Zero, zero to five in two minutes on those. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if they go that fast. <laughs> I don't know how fast she, five miles. She's down. <laughs> no, it's it. That's super slow anyway. But. Uh, Oh, she's downgraded to a scooter now. Okay, yeah. A scooter. Are you? But, do you ever go biking with your, or just like in uh, your in your past? We used or anything? to bike a bit. Yeah, we. Um, I enjoy biking. I've always had a bike growing up. Of course, we lived in a neighborhood where it was just a super steep hill, and we lived at the very top <laughs> of the neighborhood. So yeah. loved riding down the hill, and then walking back up was the amazing. walk of shame back up. <laughs> yeah, we had one, and uh, my in laws got really into biking. Uh, like 10, 10, 7, 10 years ago or something like that. So then me and uh, my wife both got our bikes and kind of got into it too. And then probably like six years ago, we were biking. And I think we had just got the bike uh, like off the rack, put it down to get, uh, to go on the trail. Mm -hmm. And I sat on it and the inner tube just popped. Oh, great. It's like, okay. Put it back on the car and we went home. And then I got it fixed. Uh, I got a new one, blew it up. Took it back to the trail, popped again. Damn. Immediately. So I have not biked since. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't feel like fixing it again because I didn't know what was wrong with it. And I wasn't going to keep blowing 12 bucks on inner tubes. Nope. I, yep. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that either. Yeah. <laughs> but once uh, once they get like to where they can bike a little bit, yeah, I will definitely uh, maybe, like, go down to the local parks and stuff and ride with them, fix it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I enjoy biking. Yeah. Some of, the, some of the local trails up there, and then even down here in Florida, I see a lot of especially on the coast i see a lot of like couples biking and whatnot it all it just looks so peaceful and pleasant i've never actually gotten to like go on like a nice little bike trip i think i think me and like uh i call him like my stepdad i think we used to go biking on some trails up north every once in a while but uh i would i would i would like to go biking again sometime yeah, yeah. it's it's hard to like I guess it depends on how you like to bike, but like I always thought it was it was difficult to find a good like relaxing trail to do like with my wife to where we could like actually chat a little bit while we bike. Mm -hmm. like, they're so skinny you can't really go side by side and talk. So you can yell at each other over you know backwards or forwards. But true, yeah. I've found plenty of like good you know trails in the woods and stuff that are fun to do. Yeah, I would just I would just uh when I was in when I was in Maine there was this really beautiful. Uh, this beautiful trail that followed along the coast and kind of went through the town and everything. And it was, it, it was big enough to kind of have two people. And I, I would like to go back up there and just, you know, rent a bike or have my own and do yep. that one day. Again. It's just I don't know, a night, like a nice, like a nice sunny day. It's always, I feel like it's always like a nice, I imagine it's better than just like a nice walk in the sun, you know? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I feel like if I had, um, freedom again, a very long time until mm -hmm. I do, I know I worked with a guy who he did one of those he was in like one of those big groups of like 30 or 40 people and they biked all the way from California to Virginia 
Wow. Um, like a cross country like bike? A month wow. or something like that, or I don't know, a couple of weeks. Or it was, but I mean, it was just, like there's a trail like made basically for this. Like you don't oh. really have to go onto roads that like aren't meant for it. Yeah. I guess enough people wanted to go cross country, so they've made like trails for it. I'm sure you know randomly you have to cross roads to get back on the trail, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they, they, he had like just gotten done with that when I met him, and he was telling me all about it. That would be a really cool thing to do. Yeah, that would that, that biking on a road scares me. I think that's oh, like, yeah. like when I see these when I see these people biking and they're you know just just outside the little white line, I'm like y'all are crazy. I not in a million yeah. years would I <laughs> would you catch me doing that? I don't oh, know. So, yeah, well. I've been nervous because there's somebody that uh, that you know uh, on my side of friends that I won't call out specifically, but uh, mm-hmm. they have hit a biker. Oh, uh, that's I'm not laughing, but that's that's unfortunate. It's you know. Well, I mean, and I I don't I I blame both sides of it too. Like, um, yeah. the biker was on like one of those 55 mile per hour like windy roads, like back roads where mm-hmm. you can't see anything on a rainy morning. Yeah, and it's like, what, it's the it's not a good combo. What are at you all. gonna do? You can't follow a biker down a seven mile road like that. You have to go past him, and then mm-hmm. yeah, it just happens. So yeah, I've been it, it wasn't a bad like the the biker was perfectly fine. Like he had some scratches and his bike was a little messed up, but he was perfectly fine. Okay, didn't good. even like press charges or anything. Um, good, good, good. So it was all good. But that has made me nervous. I, like I'm nervous to hit a biker. Mm-hmm go around a corner with the sun in your eyes and you don't see them for a second. Like it's very possible if they're on a stupid road. So yeah, luckily, luckily down here in Florida, I don't have to worry about the not seeing them part, but it still gives me anxiety because they're on these, yeah, these high speed 55, 60 mile per hour, you know, it's, so it's like, you know, one, one, one lane going both directions. So I can't really like, you know, shoot out into the other lane to try to avoid them. So then I have to like slow down to 10 miles per hour to fall behind them or something. And, get my opportunity to go a lot of the roads in the u.s aren't designed for (laughs) it's not biker friendly a lot and as i can imagine you know you're a little more up north uh yeah i i just remember riding in the car with my mom up there and whatnot and always encountering a biker on a on a windy mountain and i'm just like what are y'all what are y'all doing i'm just i'd be too afraid i feel like one wrong one wrong bump and i'm down the hill (laughs) kind of thing yeah but and it's it's tough because I get frustrated at them because you know I, I don't want to get stuck behind them and everything. But I'm also like nervous for them and nervous for myself because I, I don't want them getting hit and I don't want to hit them. You know. So yeah, I do find that like I I I I, I hate being mad at bikers because I feel like it's such a, a simple thing that I want them to be able to do, but yeah. it, I think the anger comes from the fear of hitting them. Because, like, if I hit a biker, but most likely my car is going to be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's so, it, it is, like, the, the slowing down part's frustrating. But I think most of my worry and anxiety comes from, like, I might hit you. And I know it's not yeah. your fault because these roads aren't designed for you to be on the road. And sure, you have a little bike lane. But when I'm going 60 miles per hour and I'm turning, it's, you know, it's, yeah intrusive thoughts moment i just read i just yeah. read chat for a moment <laughs> I saw, I saw. yeah yeah <laughs> I, could, I could never read it out minimum <laughs> no i'd say mine more derives from which roads like half the roads i see bikers on don't bother me at all like you do your thing you know mm-hmm. but when you're on like those windy back roads like i'm not somebody who's going to go around and maybe it's because of that story uh i'm not somebody who's going to go around if i can't see like plenty in advance i'm not going to risk anything like that so mm-hmm. yeah, I get pretty mad when it's even a 35 mile per hour road and I'm stuck going 10 to 15 miles per hour up a hill because I can't see what's coming to pass. Out. Yeah, those are go- the ones I get mad at. There are other roads for these people to go on. They don't have to do those roads. That yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I hate it. Does it does suck? Especially yeah, that uphill, you know, eats your gas and you're just going slow and yeah, that does suck. That does suck. And and sometimes they don't. And sometimes they don't move over. <laughs> like like because like they'll oh, be. Yeah they'll be maybe not in the middle of the road, but they won't be beyond the line. They won't be like past that line that they can ride on. And that, or they'll be side by side or something. On this yeah. Road. Yeah. And they, and they won't move over. And I'm like, guys, single just, file. <laughs> yeah. Single file line. Just let me pass you, please. <laughs> and that, that happens here a lot is like a lot of the bikers, especially if you're not on a main highway, they will either be right in the middle of the road or they'll loosely hug the right side to where I can't mm-hmm. pass them. And I'm just like, Oh my God, please. <laughs> and, I, I, again, I hate, I hate being mad at, 
bikers because I know, you know, they should, especially on a normal road, they should, it should be fine. But again, sometimes yeah. the roads just aren't friendly to them. And yeah, so it makes it, it makes it a little frustrating. Stressful. Yeah. I'm like, get on the sidewalk. It's right there. <laughs> right. Nobody's walking here. Just get on the, just get on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, but anyway, that stemmed, that stemmed from, uh, <laughs> that stemmed from, uh, an organization giving bikes away for basically free for community service. Um, good to hear. <laughs> uh, Get more of them on the road, please. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, I actually, I almost, that was down here when, before I got my very first job, I was looking into being a bike tour guide. And like, I would have like the, I would have like the speaker with me and like have a little microphone and a little speaker and, I would I would do like a tour, like I would be touring people around and kind of just naming you yeah. know some some of the local sites and, and whatnot. And I thought I thought that'd be pretty cool. Like a pretty cool job yeah. to have because you get you get an hourly wage plus apparently they tip really well. <clears throat> and I don't know, it sounded like it'd be a pretty pretty cool yeah, job. I, think not, I, I could see that. Yeah, I'm not doing you know, it's pretty flat around here thankfully. So it's not yeah. like I'm going to be getting tired out or anything and Yeah. I could see uh, something like that, and like I don't know about like what kind of roads you'd be doing that on, but like a New York City kind of like tour guide like that would be awesome. Oh you, yeah, you kind of trust you can kind of understand how traffic flows there, where I know when I can just cross in front of people. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's a cool. That would be a cool job. Yeah, down here more of like our like our downtown area and or out by like uh, can't really go biking at the Space Center. But if you were to go out to the Cape, there are like certain areas that I think there's like biking trails and whatnot, and you could just kind of talk about the history of like, you know, the space center and the space program and all that. <clears throat> I assume that's what they have you do. I I never got the job, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here here in Titusville, we have a lot of like monuments and statues that are kind of based around the history of just the space program and whatnot. So, uh, but that kind of that kind of concludes my uh. My, my news articles um did you have anything else you really wanted to add or anything like that um that's that hit like you covered the ones that i had been looking at too so yeah well heck yeah i think i think we've kind of arrived uh, at the end of the end of the episode then uh Alrighty. yeah matt i i want to i want to thank you for coming on it was awesome having you i was i was really looking forward to this so i'm glad i'm glad we were able to find you a, a time slot where you could come on i was i was worried because i had asked you you know like a month ago i was like how do your sundays look and you said you said you don't really have free time and i was like oh yeah. darn uh but <laughs> so to be fair i thought you were asking for like video game purposes and i knew that no, that no, would no, not no. fly no 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 no, no. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell my wife it's like oh early sunday morning 9 a.m i gotta go play games i gotta go yeah kids. i gotta go gotta go play some <laughs> video games <laughs> this seems a little less um selfish yeah, yeah, yeah. than playing rocket league at 9 a.m well i'm glad i got you and her's <laughs> approval for you to yes <laughs> to be on um yeah hey uh again happy early birthday to your daughter yeah uh and i'm glad we we're able to get you on the show and to and again to anybody watching or listening uh would you like to to plug your your channel uh sure it is please please plug your channel <laughs> everywhere yep that's it New Friend Plus everywhere, Twitch, YouTube, yep. <clears throat> Kick. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Not Kick, but <laughs> TikTok, maybe. I don't, TikTok. I yeah, Pete runs half of the stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Probably yep. see more of us playing with saving in the future, anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I usually the time frames don't end up always it. work it out, but yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely make sure you go check out Matt and Pete over there, um, and, and yeah. Thank you again so much for being for on the show, me. everybody. Uh, I've been I've been savvy. You could find the Puzzling Positive show on YouTube. You can watch the video version on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Deezer, anywhere you might get your podcast. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for being here. At a minimum, thank you for being in the chat. I think a couple others happened to pop in. Thank you, everybody that was here live. Uh, Matt, if you want to stay in the Discord afterwards, and have, we can. Yeah chat for a few minutes but yeah again everybody have a good day have a good sunday if you're here live right now and uh Pleasant.
yep have a have a pleasant week and i will see you in the next one bye everybody